There you go, get him. There you go, running. 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 Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Get Him Greg Fishing. Today, I'm with my father, Clyde P. Williams, and we are on Lake Watery uh, fishing for crap. We're currently in Beaver Creek, and we're jumping from dock to dock, stump to stump, seeing if we can catch that all elusive black crappie today. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll get them. Crappie will begin to move as the early spring days become longer and the air temperature begins to climb. As a result of warmer days, the water temperature should start to warm as well. This warming water will trigger crappie to begin their transition from their winter habitat to their spring spawning grounds. Water temperature is the key. Once the water begins to warm to around 57 to 58 degrees, male crappie will begin to move off of their winter beds. The female crappie usually will move once the water temperature is in the low 60s. A popular spot for these early springtime crappie is on the back side of Beaver Creek, just below the Highway 97 bridge. There you will find anglers using a variety of tactics to catch these tasty fish. In this video, I will go over some of the more popular methods to target these early spring crappie. Today, me and my father are going dot to dot dot shooting with a 1 16th John Deere Green Crappy Jig. Dock shooting involves the anglers slingshotting the crappy jigs underneath and alongside docks in an attempt to entice the crappy to bite. Crappy love the cover that a boat dock provides. They love dark places where they can hide and that is where they like to hang out. And if you can get into those tight dark spaces you are sure to put a few crappy in the boat. The rods we are using today are Ugly Stick G2 Spinning Reel and Rod Combos. I have found that this combo is excellent for going after crappie, striper, and small crackfish in fresh water, and also flounder, trout, and redfish in salt water. I highly recommend this rod reel combo. Not only are they relatively inexpensive, but I have also found them to be durable as well. With a starting price of around $50, they can't be beat. If you'd like to purchase one of these rod and reel combos, I will add a link to the description of this video where you can pick one up. Another technique many anglers use when targeting crappie is longlining. Longlining for crappie is basically trolling plastic jigs from the side and back of a slow moving boat. I typically will use a jig from 132 to 164 ounce depending on how deep the crappie are at. The lighter jig will be used for shallow water whereas the heavier jig will be used for deeper water. I will run an 8 rod setup where I stagger 14, 12, 10, and 8 foot rods along the side and back of the boat. I usually will set my trolling speed between 0.8 to 1.2 miles per hour and use one jig per line. When I first get set up I will use several different color combinations in my setup. As I catch crappie I will pay attention to the color they are hitting then I will change all my jigs to that color. Another technique similar to long lighting is spider rigging. Typically anglers have a eight pole setup in front of the boat. When I spider rig I will use a one fourth ounce sinker placed about eight inches up from a number two gold hook tipped with a live minnow. My trolling speed is typically between 0.2 and 0.4 miles an hour and I will drop the rig at the same depth as my sonar is marking the fish. When I find the fish I'll simply put my trolling motor in the anchor gear and we'll sit right on top of the fish. Crappy will bite just about any time of the day. However, with that said, the bite seems to be the best in either the early morning hours or the late afternoon. Regardless of your long lining or spider rigging, targeting the following sections of Beaver Creek will typically put you on the fish. In upcoming episodes, I will go more in depth with the water footage of me long lining and spider rigging. Until then, I'll catch you later. 
before you leave, be sure to check out our description page below. This page gives you a brief description of the video you are currently watching along with the fishing gear we used during the filming of this video. Click onto the Show More link to view all of this information. In upcoming episodes, we'll begin a new segment where we test out products that are sent to us. If you would like your product to be featured on one of our upcoming episodes, our contact and shipping information is also included on this page. I want to thank you for watching our videos, and if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications as to when our new videos are available. Meanwhile, here are a few more videos that I think you will like.